Calm down, Koharu! That's too close! You'll fall in too! No! On that day, our lives... been blessed more than most. In an instant. No, I don't want to die with you. Flew off the rails. No signal. Am I dead? <sighs> well, that was strangely anticlimactic. I don't think I forgot anything. The street collapsed. Ronze and I were hurt. And then she said something. Her last words to me? Was that what she really thought about me? I'm not sure what I think about that. But now that I'm dead, I guess it doesn't matter. this? A crystal tree? I don't see the moon and the horizon is MIA. Not sure where the sun is either. Those floating islands means this isn't Earth. Wherever this is, I doubt it's safe. Are you Japanese, too? My name is Mayura Tsukishiro. Do you know where we are? I'm not sure. When I woke up, I was here. I don't remember anything else. My memories all seem intact. It was Saturday when everything happened. Ranze, Mitsuhide, Koharu, and I were hanging out. School, friends, I remember it all. Could she have lost hers? Yours is the same as mine. What? You mean my hair? Yes, we both have the same hair color. It's natural. I hate the way it makes me stick out, though. Huh? Hey! 
I don't know why, but I'm really excited right now. How about you? I didn't bother asking Mayura about her hair color. Not after she said she didn't remember anything. And I was more worried about her behavior. It seemed unnatural. Where are you going? I was hoping to find some food somewhere around here. Uh, I don't think I want to go any further. It's kind of scary. I don't think it'll happen, but if a monster shows up, I'll deal with it. Okay, but please don't do anything reckless. Mayura, look out! What should we do? It looks like it's going to attack. Don't worry. I'll find some way to chase it off. Let's get started. pretty well.
In our way and we'll crush you. easy. Kanata, I'm so sorry. I couldn't do anything to help. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. It's not as bad as it looks. But you're hurt. Surprisingly, this may actually work. Who was that? Who's there? I heard a man's voice. <gasps> Kanata! Your wounds! They're healing! Uh, uh huh? What the. Uh, I feel lighter, stronger, too. Do you think these are edible? I guess I get to be the guinea pig. You're right, they are. But try to be more careful in the future, okay? Sorry. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. Let's head back. I want to be out of here before it gets dark. Pretty. I wonder what it is. A firefly, maybe. Nah, can't be. It doesn't look dangerous, at least. Mayura, stay back, okay?
those voices? Koharu and Mitsuhide? Oh, you heard voices again? Are they your friends? Didn't you hear them too, Mayura? Um, no. I didn't hear anything. Is that so? I think that some of my friends ended up here as well. What? Maybe I'm developing some form of synesthesia? Probably not. Well, if your friends really are here, I hope we can find them. Yeah, me too. Mitsuhide and Koharu, are those two really here? Synesthesia thing you mentioned before? Oh, that? It's a rare condition that very few people have. Some might even call it a special ability. Basically, some sensations connect to other totally unrelated ones. For example, sounds having a color. Something you touch having a taste. I don't think hearing voices from a crystal falls under that, though. It's just... thinking it might helps me deal with it, I guess. That's... so strange. Uh, that's just me desperately trying to explain things away, you know? What if that power did let you hear your friend's voices? That'd be neat. Neat, huh? Huh? Both Koharu and Mitsuhide sounded confused and scared. I hope they're okay. I thought I might hear that voice again if we came back to this place. I don't hear anything. It seems like just any other place now. If anything, we might be able to find more of those berries around here. Let's get started. Let's go! <laughs> 
work, everyone. I haven't told you this yet, but I was hurt really bad in an accident in Tokyo. This may be the afterlife. We're in the afterlife? That's what I thought at first, yeah. Now I'm not so sure. Why? Well, the sun just set. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere below us. That's why it's getting dark right now. Might as well be night. Meaning this probably isn't heaven or another religious-themed afterlife. At the very least, this place is grounded in science, like Earth. Going a bit further afield, there's no real horizon here, right? No matter where we look, up, down, there are floating islands everywhere. That means that we're most likely inside of whatever place this is. It could be a Dyson Sphere, where centrifugal force works like gravity. This place could be some alien world straight out of a sci-fi... Kanata? I wonder why we're here. Hell if I know. You know as much as I do. Sorry about that. Let's try to get some sleep. Okay, but, um... Do you mind if I sit a little closer? I know we're a boy and a girl alone, but still, aren't we kind of far apart? Once it gets light out, let's go look around. There might be others here. Okay. Kanata, aren't you cold? How about you, Mayura? Can I scooch just a little closer?
Have you truly realized nothing? Do you not feel a thing? That voice again. Who are you? Where are you? Was it you who healed me? Go southeast. There are two others nearby. I suggest you hurry. Okay, so which way is Southeast supposed to be? How are we supposed to find any directions here? Hold on. If this is a planet, it'll have poles. Maybe this will work. Such a useful tool, that. Yes, it does work the same here. Yay! It's working! All right, let's go! I see smoke over there. Smoke? Smoke means people. It does? Let's go check it out. Okay. Damn it. I have a really bad feeling about this. You're surprisingly perceptive, Kanata. I fear your hunch is correct. You again. You've gotten chatty all of a sudden. I will warn you now. The emotional reunion you hope for won't happen. A threat you can do nothing about has already made its appearance. Who the hell are you anyway? Just show yourself already. Ah! Was that who's been talking to us? No, that wasn't me. I'm right here. No, look lower. Uh, it's coming from your right hand, Kanata. My hand? I had hoped to merely observe, but I fear I must get more involved. I am Yamatoga. I had not foreseen this situation, and as such, am a tad uh, discombobulated. For now, it'd be best for all involved if you'd hurry. I had heard a man's voice in my head several times before, but now at least I knew I wasn't going nuts. He called himself Yamatoga. It seemed this Yamatoga knew more about what was going on than we did, and was trying to guide us somewhere.
Mitsuhide! Hey, Mitsuhide! Kaneta? Is that you? Just keep back! Stay away! Kohoru! Oh god! This can't be happening! Tell me what you are! Answer me! I told you we have no idea what's going on here! Listen to me. I'm begging you. Just let Koharu go! I know that aura. It is that of one who stood by Lady Zenobia's side and fought with us against Amatsume! Stop, Bartharosa. That voice and that aura. What? What is happening? Have you truly become one with this frail creature? I find it difficult to believe. But if it is true, and your lordship still lives, then the last wish of the Shasua may yet come to pass. I'm afraid that is not possible. Listen, this silver-haired youth seems to have a passionate hatred for you. What? Do you dare betray us? Yamatoga! You understand how I feel, don't you? Answer me! Yes, I do. Painfully so. <gasps> I will provide the most optimum solution of the Radium System. You now have use of the Astra System, the technology the Ethereal Brigade abused for so long. Lord Yamatoga, you mustn't. Do you truly intend to do this? and turn against Lady Zenobia! To each of you, I give Xenofactor. Put all unnecessary emotions aside. Let the will to fight become your weapon. Are you listening, Kanata? Never forget what I'm about to tell you. This is important. It is not I, but you. It is you and your will that will change everything. Zeno Factor, activate! Make your will your weapon! This should be easy. the enemy.
That is what they call a piece of cake. Koro, please! Open your eyes! Mitsuhide! Kanata! Kanata, is that really you? How's Koharu? What happened to her? K Koharu. Damn it all! What the hell is going on here? Why is this happening? God, why? Why the tears, Kanata? You just went through something similar, I believe. Huh? Wait, what the hell? Her wounds, they're healing. Oh. <laughs> huh? I, I'm alive? Koharu. Mitsuhide? And Kanata's here? She... she came back to life! Having merged with me, you now hold the same power as I. Immortality. I have no idea who you are, but... I can't thank you enough. <laughs> Don't be so quick to thank me. Immortality means no matter how great your pain, you cannot escape it. Honestly, it was hard to believe that we were immortal now or whatever, but that didn't change the fact that Goharu was saved. We were all incredibly thankful for that. Still, Yamatoga declared that immortality was not something to be happy about. It was nothing but pain. Maybe that's something only someone who was already immortal could understand.